September 11th, I heard this word of knowledge one morning. I was again waiting on God and I caught a glimpse of like a vision. And this is for somebody specifically, I think you live in Florida. And this applies to either the son and or your dad. But you guys are praying and believing for a new heart, literally for the son. Um, like you're a fun father, son combination. And I got this impression that your your vibes uh, or like your relationship is strong. And even that the son, like you enjoy watching Danny Duncan on YouTube or something like that. By the way, he's totally secular. I can't recommend him because he's very, very, very like PG-13 slash R-rated. It's entertaining content. But in the context of this vision, I was I was getting like a, a word of knowledge or an insight regarding you guys. Um, but in this vision, we were all celebrating because your dad has been praying for you to get a brand new heart. And I heard, like I wrote this down, God will answer. So let me just read this again. Young man in Florida and your dad, you guys are praying for and believing for a new heart for the son. You're a fun father-son combination. You like watching Danny Duncan on YouTube. And we were all celebrating Dad has been praying for you and God will answer. So I'm going to pray for you real quick. What was really cool about this too is maybe two days before I got this word, I found myself just randomly, unexpectedly praying for somebody's heart. Um, And so this was like right in that type of a flow. This came like the next morning or two mornings later. Um, But yeah, let's just, let's just pray for whoever this is. Um, Jesus, we lift up to you all of our ailments, but we also just lift up to you praise and celebration because Your report is different than the world's report, and you are the great physician, and you can turn water into wine. You can turn our broken bodies into something new and whole. And so, Father, I just pray that we could celebrate and that we will celebrate in the good work that you're doing for us. So whether this be just a miracle in somebody's life with a brand new heart or any kind of physical ailment right now, God, we just, we give it all to you and we just celebrate you and we say, thank you, Lord. Come in and have your way. (laughs) Open up the storehouses of your treasures Uh, and who you are, heaven, and just may heaven invade all of us and fix our bodies. Uh, Yeah, so that these vessels, these temples of the Holy Spirit can just be awesome, squeaky clean cups in so many ways. So we just celebrate you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. You know that when you say the word amen while praying, that actually means like one of the translations of it originally is let it be. So when somebody prays and they get done praying and we say, amen, what we're all doing is in unison, we are agreeing and say, let it be like, let the matter be established in the, in the mouth of a few witnesses, like, let it be. So this next one is going to be controversial. It has